going on what's going on back at you with another video and this one is about or it's titled are men being silenced i think that's self-explanatory let's jump right into it the spotlight and put pressure on them kind of answer your questions and prove their value i feel that you should also put black men hold on hold on the spotlight and you can put pressure on them kind of answer your questions and prove their value. I feel that you should also put black men on the same type of pressure. Uh, why would you put, how can, you can't put black men on the same type of pressure because we don't have the same type of problems. Black men aren't overweight at an 80% rate. Black men aren't underemployed. Black men are actually the second most desired behind white guys. So I don't know what she's talking about. We don't have the same problems as y'all. What black women have a lot of issues that they have to fix. And that's why they're only married at a one in four rate because there are issues that they're not taking care of. They're being told that they're queens when they're really just like a human. You know what I mean? They're human and they're being told that they're so special where none of us are special. We're just human. And if you're told you're special and you don't have to work on anything, you're not gonna. You're just gonna get worse and worse, older and older, and more stuck in your ways. People just don't understand. But let's go. Because the same, the same, um, the same thing that you say about you know women not presenting themselves properly, and it's the same way we are saying that black men are themselves to us why do women always compare men and women because men like it just doesn't make sense because men and women are not the same there's nothing about men and women that's the same except that we breathe poop pee and we don't even pee the same we we poop the same we breathe the same and we eat the same there's a few things we do we get dressed similarly there's a few things there's like maybe 10 to 20 things that we do the same or similarly but other than that, we are totally two different species with two different purposes in life and two different trajectories. Like, it's just very annoying when women just compare men and women it, when you can't. It's, it's comparing apples and oranges. You can't do it. You know what I mean? There's double standards on every side for each gender, so you just really can't. And there's always going to be a headbutting between, uh, I guess you would say, issues. Here we go. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Ma'am, how old are you again? I'm 30. My platform is one. Right. Has black men been critiqued enough? Uh, we've been critiqued since they came over on them ships and from Africa and took us all on them boats, all right? So that's over 400 years of critiquing. So I think black men have been critiqued enough. I understand that. Yes. No, I'm, a, I'm asking. Yes. Have black men have been critiqued. Yes, they've been critiqued. Okay, right. So, are you asking me for a balance? Not really a balance. Maybe you don't even have to do it enough. I just feel like you're the spokesperson for them. I would like to. She hear them. feels like he's the spokesperson person for them, like. Who, who's them, first of all, and not everyone listens to Kevin. Like, I think he has 1.5 million subscribers. There are 8 billion people on this planet. Like, he's not the spokesperson. Like, there's a, lot, a big population that listens to him, but he's not the spokesperson. He's one person on YouTube. He doesn't really have a platform. He had to make his own platform and build himself up. This wasn't promoted. He had to do this himself. So she's out of her mind right now. She's just coming at him because he's already made it. But it took him seven years to get to where he is. Like, she doesn't understand how much work this man put in. Like, this this didn't get handed to him. He had to work, to fight tooth and nail to get to where he is to this point for her to even be talking to him. So I just don't understand. Anyway. Them speak for themselves more because... They can't. Why can't they? They've what? been speaking, excuse me. They've been speaking in their houses, in their lives. Excuse me, don't shake your head. See, like, she gets the answer, and she doesn't like the answer that she gets because it's the truth. 
people say they want the truth, but they really cannot handle it. I know that's cliche, but it's true. Most people cannot handle what is truthful. They just want pretty lies so they can live their lives in, I guess, dismay or non-dismay. It's just crazy to me. Like, don't you want to know what's actually happening? Or are you just trying to push that away? Or do you just want to know so you can stay away from it? That's usually what people want to do. They want to know what the problem is, know the truth, so they can veer away from it. It's not so they can do better. Here we go. Black men have been speaking for my entire lifetime. Y'all aren't listening. And they aren't. Black men, where do you think I learned all this stuff from? <laughs> Guys. Listen to uh, Listen. They can't. They they do. What, what what can black men speak freely without being shouted down? Uh, not very many places. Maybe church. Maybe at home. But even then, there are lines you can't cross. So I mean, that's kind of tough. Um. Well, this is what I. Right. No, answer my question first, then, then move on. Where can black men speak freely without being shut down? Well, they can speak to us. I where, where, where? Where? She where? said they can speak to us. Uh, who's First of all, who's us? Like Black men aren't out there looking for you, you know what I mean? She's just one person. It's just like, what is the solution? That just, that's not a solution. He's, he's trying to ask her, <clears throat> what platform do men have? Like, where... What exposure do we have? We don't have any type of platform or exposure. We have nothing. But black women, they have everything. They got the view. They got everything. Look at all those channels, ABC, NBC. They got all those talk shows. They have every show black women do. Men, Black men have nothing. Men in general have nothing. When, when we got dates to talk to them, that don't about who they do. On dates. Yes, on date. Oh, she, she, she's not even being like, that's not what he's asking. And even like, if you did do that on dates, that's one person, that's one couple speaking about it. How do you do it in mass? That's what he's trying to ask. You're not even being reading, okay. Yeah. Let me be more clear. Mm-hmm. What platforms or institutions can a black man speak without being shouted down? Uh, the answer is nowhere, if anyone's wondering, but we'll let her try to guess this. Maybe your platform. Uh, she's, she's really suggesting that black men come on his platform to voice what they need. Like, no, that's one platform. We need, like, exposure worldwide, nationwide, but we don't have that. (laughs) That's what he's talking about. He's not talking about guys coming on and taking over his page to voice what they need that's going to do nothing it's going to be what it is already like it's not even reasonable like he said you can have them speak ma'am right now this is okay so me i'm supposed to build my business my platform and then make it to where see i want you to understand you've already answered the question there is no place If they got to come to my platform, that means there's not a place where black men can go. And that's exactly what I said earlier. They can't. Do you get that? I I get that. That's that's what, it's because I agree with why I feel that they should be given a chance to. But they're not. Given a chance by who? Because you're just giving a chance by who? Yeah, that's a good question. By who? Because <laughs> the thing is, when you think about who controls the networks, it's black women. So basically, black women are the ones in control of the the uh, narrative on what goes on behind the screens or, or in front of the screens, depending on which side you're on. And it's up to them to allow black men to have a voice. And you know, black women—they're not going to step aside to do that. They're just not. Mm. Well, because, Look at this. But I'm Ever t- since black women have been in power in the black community, the black community has been at the bottom. Black, black, little black boys are reading at a fourth grade level. You got freaking uh, 80% of black boys being born out of wedlock. 80% of our women are overweight. One in four of them will be married in a lifetime. Like, come on, bro. These are terrible numbers. 
at some point you got to pass the, the baton over and let someone else take the lead you know what i mean it's just like it's a constant battle no, I'm saying they should be given a chance by whom? Well, you're saying there's no way. No, who should give them a chance is what I'm asking. She's not well, answering the question. She keeps dodging it. It's either she's dodging it or she truly is just not comprehending what he's saying. Willing to give the chance right now. Whom? Man, okay, I'm asking you. I said, where? You said black men should be able to speak. I said, they can't. Then I asked you, where should they go? You said, they can do it. Where can they go without being shut down? First thing you said is on a date. That's crazy. <laughs> right. Then I said, what businesses or institutions or platforms? You said on yours. Out of the whole global world, you expect all the black men to converge onto one platform. These right. That's that? what I just said before. That doesn't even make sense. And even if that, that did happen, that would be so counterproductive. Because you know how many men there are? Like, there'd be so... You wouldn't be able to get to all of them. It just doesn't make sense. We need different uh, places to broadcast at, in mass at different times. But let me add... Let me, no, like no, the no, women. I want you to listen. Where can black women go to speak their concerns? Anywhere and everywhere. Like, right I don't on. think National black TV. Women are- She's crazy. Concerns. She's literally crazy. You don't think black women have platforms? All right, this woman is literally either out of her mind or she's just not trying to think at all for even a second. Because all you got to do is think of uh, The View, Whoopi Goldberg. That's all you got to do. If you do, Just think of that one show out of the hundreds that they have. Their concerns? Not really. Not really. I feel like right now I'm speaking my concern. Madame Noir, Essence, Ebony, Grapevine, Vossip, Onsite. That's not... Oh, excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. You... Are, are you serious? She can't be. Black women's concerns are magnified and amplified. Mm-hmm. See, this is the problem. This is the problem. She doesn't see it. You've got one man with one voice. And I want you to understand that black women are so brittle and so sensitive to where they can't tolerate one place. And then I'm supposed to build this up. And then I'm supposed to say, come on over, millions of black men. Well, how about right. this? If you want to hear black men's concerns, I'll, I'll tell you how we do it. What you do is you go and you uh, work with, petition, and convince black women to give their platforms over to black men. Right, that's what I just said. Because the black women have the power. They have all the media outlets. They have all the access so if black men were to get any power, it'd have to go through them. But you know damn well they're not going to give that up. Why? Like, they just won't. And they always say, oh, if men have power, they're going to do this. They they would do this. When really, no, we wouldn't. They're only saying that because they're thinking about what they would do. You know what I mean? So you really have to, like, think about it. It's kind of crazy. So just be careful. You go tell the black women who command the public square? All right. We've already we got we've had our we've had our uh, say. Uh, it's in November. It's National Men. It's International Men's uh, Month. For in all of November, we're going to just turn our platforms over to black men. See how many people. See how many black people would let that happen. Yeah, that would I never would happen. Things ever. that you're saying, and as you listen to your point of view, but I feel like maybe we're losing um, the meaning. Of our saying, what I'm trying to, what? I'm happy that, you are, and you are a spoke person for black men. But all I'm, maybe you can do one episode where you quote black men. Uh, what she doesn't understand is, before he started talking to women, he was talking to men for three years or f- almost four years, where he was drilling into men's head and trying to help with self-improvement and all this crap. But that never went viral because men get told that they're nothing all the time. But when you tell that to a woman, oh, that and that's when it goes viral. Because God forbid you tell a woman about herself. God forbid you tell a woman who asks you for advice about what she's doing or saying, right? God forbid. It's all, all big bad men, always. Question, black women. That's what? what- 
question black man I did that for three years right I just said that that's what I did the first three years and they have proven that was what I did the first three years she not listening silent crickets right now it's all you hear is crickets like what can you say to that he literally and i literally just said that he was drilling at us men for three years helping us get our stuff together and where where was she she wasn't there none of these women were there listening oh they're here now because he's talking to the women though right now they want to pay attention who listened exactly who listened exactly who listened the first three years I talked to men, who listened? No one. I've I've been with you for a whole year now. Ma'am. It's please. not about you. I did that for three years. Who listened? I'm willing to listen. That's it. That's not about you. See, like it's like they always bring it back listen. to themselves. He's talking about the world the global economy and she brings it back to herself like it's bigger than you it's bigger than yourself it's, you get out of your shoes for one second sometimes people always bring things back to themselves it's like no it's not about you there's a world that we live in together and it's crumbling because we're not doing it right we're all, we're incorrectly going through life with each other and it's just very frustrating answer that question I'm not sure who the because I wasn't I, I didn't there at the time. Right. Exactly. How did you get here? I got here because Because I, I started talking to women. Women, exactly. Exactly. I did the world listen. Exactly. The world went crazy. Okay, no no one wanted to hear when he was talking to the men, but now that the women are calling in and being told what they need to hear or what they don't want to hear, it's a big problem, guys. Man, be careful with this kind of stuff, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later.